Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Soumya and in this video we are going to discuss about the important topic for the examination that is cell signaling. So definitely you, you will get in questions from this chapter, uh, one or two questions uh, from this uh, chapter. You can even expect more than this. Um, yeah, definitely uh, there will be um, questions from this topic. So before that, now uh, uh, this video is about basics on cell signaling and which is very important when uh, I'm going to do the uh, do it as a part 1 and part 2 and part 3 videos. So um, if you get some disturbance, please ignore the background sound. So thank you. Um, the pa In part 1 video, this is about the basic, okay? And uh, possibly part 2 video is also about the basic, but don't miss these two videos because these two are uh, basics. So this, these two videos will help uh, in understanding the um, next videos or this uh, cell signaling topic in depth and that will make easy to understand the uh, all information, uh, all syllabus about the cell signaling. So don't miss it, watch this video till the end. Thank you. So what is this cell signaling means? See, the, it is very normal. Which is a common English term cell signaling. Signaling means some kind of signal is coming. Normal word, right? So signaling. So some kind of stimuli is there. Okay, for that we have to give the response. And cell, here the cells are communicating. That's why cell signaling. Okay. And here normal signaling. Uh, the one cell is going to give the signal. Another cell is going to receive that signal okay that is called as cell signaling here the cells are communicating in this pattern how if the one cell is send a cell another cell is uh, receive a cell okay the cell which sends the information that cell is called send a cell the cell which receives the information is called as receive a cell or target cell okay the send a cell which re uh, which uh, receives the information Okay, target cell which uh, receives the information, send the so cell which uh, sends, the sends the information. information, sorry. Okay, the cell which sends the information, that cell is called as sender cell. Very easy, I explained in very simple way, okay. And now, now the question is, okay, we have the sender cell which sends the information and we have a receiver cell or target cell which, which receives the information. Now, how, how it is going to happening here? So here the sender cell sends the information and receiver cells receives the information via a molecule called as signaling molecule, SM that is signaling molecule. The next thing that we are learning is next word we are learning is signaling molecule. So what is this signaling molecule? Okay, This signaling molecule it may be any molecule that carries a signal or you can say that carries the information and that alters the cellular activities of the target cell cellular activities of the target cell that is called as signaling molecule i repeat once again a, a signaling molecule may be any molecule that carries the signals or information that alter the cellular activity of the target cell that is called as signaling molecule okay now the next question okay uh, so these two are communicating using the signaling molecule now the question is how did the target cell or receiver cell receives the information how it is receiving the information here this target cell or receiver cell receives the information from signaling molecule by expressing in receiving protein okay this target cell have a receiving protein okay that is called as receptors okay so i am drawing here make you to um, easily understand so think this is an uh, target cell or you can say receiver cell and this target cell and receiver cell receives the information through a signaling molecule and how why it is it, there are many other cell they can also receive the information why this cell is going to, be, going to receive the information because this is expressing or this is having an receiving protein it is having an receiving protein that's why this one is a receptor receiving protein that receiving protein is called as receptors means that means that this target cell or receiver cell possess receptors on their on them okay this what is this receptor receptors are nothing but these are proteins only receiving proteins okay so if the target cell possess receptors on them then this is going to receive the information okay what we learn we learn what are 
receptors. Here receptors are those which receives the information from signaling molecules by expressing receiving protein called receptors. The next topic, basic topics here. These receptors are usually located on plasma membrane of the target cell. So, this is the target cell. These receptors usually located on the plasma membrane of the target cell. Okay, this if you think this is the plasma membrane. So, these we are going to locate on the plasma membrane of the target cell or you can say this is a surface right. So, this is also called as surface expressed receptors or you can say plasma membrane bound receptors. Okay, so two types that plasma membrane bound receptors, it is also called as surface expressed receptors, surface expressed receptors. The second scenario here, the second type, however, some receptors are found inside the target cell. So, the, the diagram which I have drawn here. So, I have uh, this one I have uh, drawn here. This receptor will be present inside this target cell. Okay. So, those are called as intracellular, intracellular receptors. Why these are intracellular receptors? Because here the receptor is found inside the target cell. That is why these are called as intracellular receptors. Again, these intracellular receptors or may be found in, when I have said before, the, uh, this, if you take one cell, the cell possesses the nucleus, it has the cytosol and it has all the um, cell organelles like um, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, okay, uh, what are the cell organelles which you know, all the cell organelles will be present in the cell, okay. And here I said uh, some receptors present inside the cell. So, those are called as intracellular receptor. These intracellular receptors may be found in, you can found these in cytosol and then we can found these on membrane of organelles, membrane of the organelles and then we can found this in the nucleus, okay. You can found intracellular receptors on on uh, three uh, locations in the cytosol on the membrane of the organelle. And, inside, and on the nucleus, okay. That is about the receptors. Now, we will learn about some more important uh, basics of the cell signaling. So, I, I have mentioned about the cell uh, signaling molecule here. This signaling molecule, it is also referred as first messenger, okay. So, if you, I am drawing the uh, cell here, this is the plasma membrane, if you think this is the plasma membrane. So, the, um, the cell possesses the signaling molecule, okay. So, the sender cells uh, sends an information to a signaling molecule that is uh, I am re representing in a diagram as a SM. This signaling molecules, it is also referred as, it is also called as first messenger. This signaling molecule, it is also called as first messenger. Remember, these are very important. These are the key modes or key basics to uh, learn in depth about the cell signaling. Next point on cell sig uh, signaling molecule. Signaling molecules act by binding to the receptors. So, if you uh, find the how these are uh, uh, how these are act, uh, do its function. So, these uh, signaling molecules act by binding to the receptors. So, when it binding to the receptor that time only it is going to uh, do its function. Hence, these kind of signaling molecules are called as ligands, okay. The one more important word that we learned is ligands. What are ligands? The question they may ask what are ligands or if you, sh you should have the uh, information about ligands here. The ligands are nothing but signaling molecules act by binding to the receptors. Hence, these signaling molecules are called as ligands and these signaling molecules bind to the receptor is highly specific, okay. It is uh, it's not going to simply binding uh, just like that. So, it is highly specific and it involves multiple non-covalent interactions, okay. Now, we will learn about the classification or further two classes of the signaling molecule. Signaling molecules are further of two classes. The first one is agonist, the second one is antagonist. Here the first one agonist which means that 
signaling molecules that activate signaling pathway are called as agonist here we can see the sender cell there and the receiver cell so the sender cell sends the information through the signaling molecule and receiver cell in, uh, uh, receives the information through the signaling molecule and this signaling molecule it is also called as first messenger messenger okay now uh, after uh, receiving the uh, uh, sig signal the receiver cell uh, uh, activates a signaling uh, pathway uh, uh, through the series of messengers uh, like secondary messenger ter tertiary messenger like that and finally reaches to the uh, um, final target and this activating of the signaling pathway okay that is called as agonist signaling molecule that activates the signaling pathway are called as agonist and the opposite to of that is antagonist antagonist means signaling molecules that prevent or blocks the signaling pathway are called as antagonist okay so these are agonist and antagonist two classes of the uh, signaling uh, molecule again these agonist and antagonist are further classified into two classes the first one is physiological uh, in the, uh, that is physiological agonist and physiological antagonist second one is pharmacological agonist and pharmacological antagonist now we will see the first one that is a physiological agonist and antagonist what is this physiological agonist and antagonist here if agonist and antagonist are produced natively then these are called physiological agonist and antagonists means they are produced natively they produce uh, within the cell in uh, in in the own cell okay uh, which is native okay that that kind is called as physiological we, we already know the meaning of agonist and antagonist right so agonist means which activates the signaling pathway antagonist means which prevents or blocks the signaling pathway okay so that's about the um, uh, which blocks the signaling pathway that is antagonist so uh, that is uh, and if if that Uh, that is called as physiological agonist and antagonist second one is pharmacological agonist agonist and antagonists here in pharmacological if agonist and antagonists are synthetically produced or foreign to the body or exogenous to the organism then they are, these are called pharmacological agonist and antagonist okay so you know the meaning of agonist and antagonist okay which activate the signaling pathway agonist antagonist which uh, which uh, Mm, blocks or prevents the signaling pathway so the, those are called as pharmacological i'm hoping that these two classes are understood now we will move on to the next one that is ligand uh, ligand activated uh, re, uh, re, uh, receptors so what well, now let us learn what are, what are these ligand activated receptors are here you can look at in the diagram sender cell uh, sends the information via through the signaling molecule and signaling molecule uh, attached to the receptor uh, and it will uh, make the conformational change in the receptors and uh, leading to the activation of the receptor okay then then that is called as ligand activated receptor so this that is called as ligand activated receptor i repeat once again signaling molecules binds to the receptor and induces a conformational change in the receptor and, and leading to the activation of the receptor this is called as ligand okay. activated receptor i'm hoping this this video will be helpful and we will learn some more basics of the cell signaling as a part two video if you learn something new from this video please do share and subscribe thank you all